Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share with you some of my favorite productivity apps for Mac that I've been using recently. All of these in some way or another have helped improve my focus and output over the last couple of months, so they're definitely worth having a look at. They're all really inexpensive or have some sort of free version as well, so if you're a student or if you're on a tight budget, then these will definitely still work for you. So let's get into it. So the first app I wanted to share with you guys is called Menu Bar Stats. Menu Bar Stats 3, which is the current version, is essentially an advanced system health monitor for your Mac. It basically allows you to keep a real-time view of all of your Mac's different components, so things like your CPU load, your Mac's memory intensity, as well as more basic features like your disk space. So how does it work? Well basically, after you've installed it, it sits up in the top right-hand corner within the Menu Bar as a module. And by the way, this also works on the new M1 Max as well, but instead of up in the menu bar, it's called a widget. In this menu, you're able to customize and tailor all of the different modules and the different stats that you want to receive about your Mac. In terms of cool features, one of the things I really like in particular about the menu bar stats app, and you can also see things like your fan speed, as well as temperature and internet speed as well, all at a single glance across the menu bar. So I bet you're thinking, why do I need this? As someone that's always geeking out about the performance of my Mac, this is a brilliant app generally, but it's also going to be really useful for you if you're considering buying a new Mac soon, because it means you'll be able to see, based on your current usage, exactly how much of your Mac's performance you're actually using. It's such a good app with so many customizations, so for about $5, it's an absolute must for me. Definitely go and check it out. Next up is an app called Sip. The SIP is essentially a color picker tool, and it basically allows you to identify colors from anywhere on your screen and then organize them into different categories. So this is obviously a really great app if you're a designer, but I also think it has loads of other capabilities as well. So as you can see in this example, I'm just hovering and clicking over random colors that I like the look of, and SIP is gonna tell me the exact color code for that pixel. What's great about it though, is that you can organize and save colors into different categories so they don't disappear after you've clicked them. You could then label these and save them down and just keep them there forever. So if you're doing projects or design work, you just have all of your colors there just ready to go. It also has an input editor as well, which is pretty cool. So why do you need this? Well, SIP is obviously more of a tool for designers and creators, but to be honest, I think it's generally actually a brilliant tool for anyone. Even if you spend all day in PowerPoint, then this will still be useful for you. The app's about $7, which again is another super cheap app that you own permanently. There's no subscription model. You can just upgrade each year to the latest version if you want to. So the next app I wanted to show you guys is called Flow. So if you're someone like me that's really struggled for focus in lockdown, then Flow is definitely gonna be a good app for you. It's basically a Pomodoro utility tool. So for those of you who've never heard of the Pomodoro technique, it's basically a time management method that uses a timer to break work down into intervals. Traditionally, these are about 20 to 25 minutes in length and they're separated by short breaks. And this helps with focus and concentration. The reason this technique works so well and is so widely used is because the human brain can actually only focus for approximately 20 minutes before it comes distracted. Flow is a really simple time wrap that lets you customize the length of your study periods. It also goes a bit further than that and allows you to set conditions that actually lock down certain apps or capabilities of your machine. So if you're someone that gets distracted easily, then this is definitely going to help you. The best thing about the app is that it's totally free as well. So definitely go and check it out. Next up is an app called Magnet. So if you're someone who's recently made the switch from Windows to Mac, then you're definitely going to love this app. Magnet basically lets you swap windows around the screen of your Mac easily and quickly snap them to different sides of the screen. So if you're someone who's a bit of a multitasker, the Magnet lets you organize and snap windows all around your workspace. So obviously if you're used to the Microsoft setup, obviously this is something you can do natively within Windows, but for some reason in Mac OS, it hasn't yet been implemented. Magnet has a whole host of features as well that let you customize the actions and shortcuts that you want to achieve. So it's not just a one size fits all app, it actually lets you customize your experience for something more tailored to you. Magnet isn't a free app, it's about $5 and there's a bunch of other free versions out there 
but for me Magnet's definitely the best one and it's another app that's well worth its value over the long run. So the final app I wanted to share with you guys is called Hidden Bar. So now that you've installed all of those previous apps that I've just recommended, you're going to find that your menu bar is going to suddenly be quite clogged up. Hidden Bar is a way you can really quickly clean up your taskbar to only display the widgets that you really want to see. So after you've installed it, you'll get a little arrow and a line that you can move around depending on where you want all of the icons to be. So if you put them all to the left of the arrow, they basically disappear behind the arrow when you click it. You can also set a timer so the bar automatically disappears again after opening up hidden apps, which is pretty cool. The best thing about this app is that it also happens to be free, which is a nice bonus. So guys, those are just some of my favorite apps that I've been using recently. I'm thinking about doing one of these videos every few months or so, so let me know if you'd find that useful. I'd love to know what your favorite apps are as well, so if there's any really cool apps you found recently, then please share them with people in the comments below. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and remember to subscribe for more.